Hello, so today we are doing this problem called pancake sorting um, and so pancake sorting is um, it says we get an array and um, we want to perform um, a pancake flip basically we can perform a pancake flips and we choose some value k um, that is of course less or equal than the length of the of the array which is which represents the pancakes that we have and when we want to reverse the, reverse the order of the first k element of the array so we want to perform zero or more pancake flips and doing one of doing them one after the other those flips basically and the goal is to have a sorted array at the end by just doing the flips of a number of um, a number of elements in the array or or a number of pancakes in the stack of pancakes that we have and we want to return the k values which represent the the flips that we did each time so each flip flips a number of uh, elements and so we want to uh, return an array of those uh, flips and any valid answer any answer can be considered valid if it's um, less or equal than 10 multiplied by the length of the array and so let, let's see here with this example that represents um, a stack of pancakes here and so I'm taking an example here 14325 and to represent that I'm just taking it as um, so it's um, so basically this is one the first one and then after that we have four elements so basically each dash here represent an, uh, like a value so, I'm, so basically you can think of these values of the array as um, the length of pancakes of each pancake so the first one has length one the second one has length four the one after that has length three the one after that has length two and the last one has length five and basically the goal is to get them to be sorted so basically our goal is to have them at the end be like this so we have the first one the longest one at the bottom have the one after that at the end and then the one before that like this and so basically this is a very famous problem that just states that think of like having a chef a chef that that is cooking pancakes and the chef is kind of slobby, so he just puts puts them in any order. He doesn't really pay attention to the order in which they are in. But the waiter wants to serve them in a in a good looking way, and so he wants them to be this way. So basically, probably something like this, uh, so that they look nice. Um, something like this, maybe. Um, and so basically, this if using our array representation here means that we will get them as one, two, three, four, five sorted like this and so if we go back to the problem here um, if we do a flip so for example for this example three two four one first we do a flip of four elements the first four elements and after that we do the flip for the first two elements and then we do a flip for the four elements and then we do a flip for three and that gives us a sorted array uh, for this one which was sorted we we don't we just um, output nothing because we didn't do any flips um, and uh, and so the result that we want to return I uh, should pay attention to this is the k values so it's four two four three so that's the output that we have here another thing to pay attention to is the values of a are just a permutation of one two until the length of a so here the length of a is five and so the values are one, two, three, four, five. So we can't have like skips in values. So we can't have something like this uh, the, because the length of the array is two. So it has to be a permutation of one, two, right? Uh, so that's the gist of the problem. So let's think about this. How can we how can we solve this problem? So one one observation that we can make here is that to put an element at the first position, which is basically the bottom of the stack here, um, we have we must have had it um, at the at the top because we can only do a flip so we can only do a flip and so in order to have it at the bottom it has to be that it was like so if I take a simple example let's say something like this if I have this one let's say three four here and then we have three and then we have two and then we have one the only way to get this one at the the only way to get this one at the bottom here is for it to be at the top because when I flip this entire thing, it will become the bottom. So any so the only way to get a to get a, a pancake to be at the bottom is by first putting it at the top and then after that we put it at the bottom. And so in order to sort here, 
what do we want? We want first to have the longest one at the bottom. So we want to end up with the longest one at the bottom, the or the largest one at the bottom, the one just smaller than it, but larger than the or the others after it, and the same thing as we go along recursively. And so the keyword here that I used a lot is the la I want the largest pancake to be at the bottom. So let me just um, write this here. So we want the largest. So first step is we want the largest pancake at the bottom of the stack. Right. Um, and so So basically at the bottom of the stack, just remember that means that it has to be at the at the top at the end of the array. So and for for this to happen, we have to put it first to put it first at the at the top of the stack so that we can do one flip and and it becomes at the bottom, right? So once it's at the top, it's just one flip and we have it at the bottom, right? And once we can do this, we can just recurse after that. We can just recurse. And instead of and instead of considering of considering like um, the entire A, we can just uh, we can just consider um, part of A that it, that doesn't contain the largest element it doesn't contain the largest element, right? And so basically, now all we have to do is find how we can do this. And so, if we go, if we try to decompose this first step, what does it involve? So we need to know the largest pancake. That's first, right? So we need to identify the largest um, uh, pancake. So the first step. So a uh, identify the position of the largest pancakes. Why the position uh, here? Because um, we want to know from where we should flip so that we can have it at the top, right? And so we want to have, want to know its position or uh, its index. And what is the the other part? So we want to put it at the top, at the, uh, at the top, right? Move it to the top. What does move it to the top involve? Uh, that just means flip. Um, from largest index, right? From largest pancake index, right? So you can think of it as the what the waiter will do is will he will look at the pancakes here, and he will say, let's say this one was here, and he will say, okay, here's my largest pancake. So he has a spatula thing that he can flip with. So he he will say, okay, this is my largest one. So I'm just going to flip this this entire thing on top, so that I can end up with something like this. Right, something like this. So this one would be on top, and then this one would be since he flipped it, all of them. So this one that was after it, so they would become in the reverse order, like this. Right. So this is the reverse order of this. Like anything that was below now is on top. Um, and once we do this, we know that we just need to flip the entire thing to have this one at the bottom, right? And so we flip the entire thing, and we will end up with something like this, where this one would be. So, so this one would be here, the largest one. After that, this one will be after it. So we are just flipping them, and so this one would be here, and this one would be here. Now, what is the next step? Now, this one is already in its right order, so we don't need to. We can forget about it for a second here, right? So let me just say put this to identify that we forget. So we need to just do the same thing for this portion and after we concatenate it with this one that was already there and that's about it. And we continue doing this until we have only one element at that point. We can just add that on top. And so this is the main idea. And um, okay, so how can we, what do we need to do? So we need to define a flip method that flips k elements because at the end what we want to return is um, is a uh, K flips. That's what what we want to return at the end. Um, and so, 
like the values of the flips that we did. And so let's define that method then. Um, so that method takes A and has an index K. And um, so it, 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 it gets like the index of the largest from which we want to start the flip, right? So let's call that index instead. Okay, and then I'll define that method later. And then what we want to do is we want to define the result where we will put the um, the flips that we did. And remember we said that the array element are just a permutation from one to the length of the array. So let's start to the length of the array in the value n. And uh, what is the, so we want to identify the largest pancake. So we know by default, since we, the elements are 1, 2 until the length of a, by default, the largest one is the length of a, right? So we know for sure that the largest one is n. And so we'll just recurse now, right? So we will start from um, n, which means we'll get the, the first one, and then the second one, and then the third one. Um, and so, so this is just so that we can do the entire array, right? Uh, we are not going to use i, actually. This is just so that we can process the entire um, set of pancakes. And we want to find the position of the largest pancake, so the index of the largest pancake. And that would be just by finding the index of the largest, right? And we want to flip all the stack starting from that index. That's what we said here. That's what we said we are doing here, right? And so that means what we want to do is just flip A starting from index of largest. Um, the second step is we want to, since we did a flip, we want to record the flip that we did because that's the final result we want to want to return here. So the final result we want to return is res. And so since here we did a flip starting at index largest, we want to record that. Uh, but one thing you can notice here in these values of k is the array starts from zero, the numbering, but the values of k that they are looking for here are starting from one. And because here, if you look at the k equal to two, what we did is we flipped these two. So if it was the, the k index was like starting from zero, it would have been just k equal to one. But that's not the case here. We want two, which is one, two. So we want the indexing for that we put in the result to be starting from one instead of zero. So we just need to handle that. So that means that here we are going to add index. It's, it's index largest if we were starting from zero, but starting from one, it's plus one. And what did we say? So once we do, do the first flip, we will have this position here. So we would have this. But we want this one to be at the bottom. So in order to do that, we'll flip the entire thing, right? And so to do that, we are just going to do a flip at A. And we want to flip the entire thing, which is largest. Um, but largest, it starts from N. And so the, you know, the flip indexing starts from 0. So we need to do minus 1. And then after that, we want to, since we did a flip here, we want to append it. And again, it's largest, um, it's largest minus one, but since the flip that we want to return are indexed from one, so we want to do minus one plus one, which is just largest, right? And then after that, we want to recurse. And by recursing, I mean we want to forget about this one that is, which is in the sorted position now, and just handle this. So how are we going to do that? Just by saying that now the largest becomes n minus one. That, that way, when we find the index from which to start the flip, we'll start from just um, the, the index of the largest minus one instead. Um, and we will be, it will be over once we got through all the elements, which means basically at that point, largest will be equal to zero. So here we could also as well do while largest is bigger or equal to zero. That would have the same, um, the same result, right? Um, and yeah, that, that should be all. Now we just need to code our flip function here. And so our flip function, we want to just flip them. So we want to just um, basically here what we are doing is this one that was here, 
it became uh, this one that was here become at the top and this one that was here became just after it and so we kind of just swapping this one with this one and then swapping this one with this one so that's what we are doing and so basically what I'm going to do is make this be I and make this one be J and just keep advancing J by minus one and keep advancing I by plus one until they meet at that point we are done right and so that's all that, that this flip function will do here and so I is zero as we said and G is index and while they haven't met which is while I less than J what we are going to do is we are going to flip them right so I a of i, a of j is equal to a of j, a of i, and we are going to increase by 1, as we said, and we are going to decrease j by 1. And at the end, we are going to return, no, no need to return since we are swapping in place, right? And so, yeah, that's all for that one, and um, let's see. So it doesn't have to be the exact, um, the exact uh, as long as it's not 10 multiplied by the length of the array, the solution would pass. It doesn't have to be the exact one as the as lead codes um, output, right? And so let's just um, submit this, I think, and then see, make sure that we, and see the, if, if it gets accepted. Because um, this result is not deterministic. Okay, so this solution passes, um, and yeah, that, that's about it. So basically, um, this problem um, is useful because the gist of it is that we can sort an array by just using a reversing operation, this flip operation, and finding the largest element. Um, so with that, we can flip the array without any extra operation. Um, and yeah, that's the main idea. It's also um, a good, um, it, it, it represents, I think, a good way of limiting the, the operations that you have in order to think more of a, of a clever algorithm to solve a problem. Um, yeah, so that's it for now. See you next time. Bye.